Oh, what a nail! As Jonathan Bostick gets separated, Mike Willie from the football. Yes, sir. You know what it is. It's fourth quarter boy sports. I'm your illustrious host, Professor Lake, in the building once again. And today we're going to take a look at previewing the Chicago Bears versus Minnesota Vikings game. Prime time, Sunday night. Very excited about that. But before we get deeper into the preview, you know what I do right around this time. It is fourth quarter boy sports. I'm your illustrious host, Professor Lake. All right, like, comment, share, subscribe, 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 subscribe. Cheer. Be a fourth quarter boy for life, man, for life. Hit that notification bell, get notified every time I upload. All right, let's fade right into it, man. The Bears are going to be facing a competent division opponent this week. Last year, the Minnesota Vikings uh, were the kings of the NFC North. And uh, they were able to get uh, to the second round in the playoffs. This year, they've ran into a couple of uh, roadblocks, a couple obstacles. Uh, they lost some games to some teams they probably should have beat. In the last few games, they've been kind of pouring it on. And their defense has been coming together uh, as well as their running game. So let's take a deeper look. Now, offensively, what you're looking at is a team uh, that's rushing for 125 yards so far. Uh, they've thrown for 2,544 yards, which is, is pretty good. They're moving the ball up and down the field in the passing game. Um, they're 46 of 119 on third down. You could do the math on the percentage. And uh, they've scored 20 touchdowns offensively. The thing that I see with this Minnesota Vikings team is that they are able to keep drives going. Uh, you know you got Adam Thielen, uh, who's had consecutive 100-yard games, and he's uh, getting close to breaking the record. I don't know if he was able to do that yet or not. But right now, he's had 78 receptions for 947 yards. Uh, 12 yards of catch and 7 touchdowns. Behind him, you got Stefan Diggs. Uh, he has 58 receptions on the season, 587 yards uh, to go with that. Uh, 10 yards a clip, 4 touchdowns. Kyle Rudolph, hey, he's doing his thing as well. 34 receptions, 389 yards uh, to go with that. 10 yards a catch and 2 touchdowns. Now, Kirk Cousins, uh, his completion percentage is at 71. Uh, he's thrown 17 touchdown passes, thrown five interceptions. Again, he's accounted for 2,685 yards passing. Now, when you're looking at the Minnesota Vikings defense, uh, you're looking at a team that has held their opponents to 800 yards rushing, 2,100 yards passing. Uh, they're really good on third down, uh, going 26 for 101, but they've allowed teams to score uh, 26 touchdowns on the season. Uh, they do have one more sack than the Chicago Bears, I believe, at 31. So this is a productive uh, defense. Not to downplay their defense, but they did get about 10 sacks against the Detroit Lions the last time they played. So that was a big jump in production as far as their pass rush goes. Uh, so we'll see what they could do against our offensive line. But the Minnesota Vikings have a defense that can make plays uh, when the ball is in the air. They do have pass rushers. They are able to stop the run. The linebackers have had problems in coverage, but as the season went on, uh, they have improved in that area as well. So this is definitely going to be a test for the Chicago Bears offense. Leading the defense, you got Harrison Smith with 37 tackles, three interceptions. You got Eric Kendricks, the linebacker, uh, with 36 tackles right behind uh, Smith. Daniel Hunter has 26 tackles. With that in mind, Anthony Barr has had a little issue with his hamstring. But with the bye week, uh, maybe that has given him the opportunity to heal up a little bit. And uh, so, again, uh, this Vikings team is pretty stout and is going to be something to reckon with. On the season, uh, the defense has eight interceptions and uh, 31 sacks overall. What do the Bears need to do to maintain their status as Kings of the North in this 2018 season? Uh, well, one thing uh, simply is to win this game, but more specifically, uh, again, this is a, a big game for Mitch Trubisky uh, to show how much he has learned in Matt Nagy's system and how much he's going to be able to put out there in the football field as far as being accurate, making the right reads, getting out of bad plays, and, and getting the right play called 
uh, for the success of the offense. The receivers are really going to need to step up this game just like they did against Detroit last week. Ultimately, the Bears are going to have to run the ball a lot better. Uh, we can't have wasted downs. Uh, we need to get chunk yardage out of our running game, especially if we're going to be an offense that throws a lot. When we do decide to run the ball, we need to make defenses pay. So I look to see Jordan Howard a little bit in the power running game. Hopefully we could get that thing going and uh, that could pull some of these safeties up into the box and that will really help open up our passing game even more. Defensively for the Bears, you really got to think about the secondary, but we got to put Kirk Cousins in uncomfortable situations. The secondary is really going to have to shine this game. If they could hold Adam Thielen uh, to below 60 yards, that would be great. If they could keep Stefan Diggs bottled up, that would also be great. Stopping the run, I think that the Bears can do that. I think that they're stout enough up front that they can stop them with their front four. Definitely Adam Thielen, Stefan Diggs are guys out there that I think can threaten our secondary. And uh, Eddie Jackson, Adrian Amos, uh, we really need these guys to try to turn over the ball. They're going to have to assist our cornerbacks this game in locking down uh, these two wideouts because they have been doing pretty good this season. Uh, one of the best wide receiver tandems in the NFL. Like I said, this is going to be a statement game for the Chicago Bears. Uh, if we could come away with a victory at home, it's really going to make the road to the playoffs a lot cleaner. For Trubisky, we can't have a game where you take steps backward, uh, protect the football, make smart decisions have conviction in your throws, be decisive, all of those things that you probably heard from Matt Nagy this season. Trust your receivers to make plays. In offensive line, you gotta continue doing what you've been doing. Pass protection has been pretty good all season. And let's just get this running game going. Uh, we gotta push people off the line of scrimmage. We gotta get guys off the line of scrimmage at least two to three yards uh, for this running game to really have a, a, a game-changing effect. As I said before, this is a statement game. Uh, the Vikings are a team to be respected. Uh, let's not overlook them for the Thanksgiving game. We're taking one game at a time. Let's dissect our opponent. And uh, let's get to it, fellas. But I got the Bears winning this game 35 to 24. All right. It's going to be a high-scoring game, fellas, and that's how the Bears are going to have to win. We're going to have to outscore the Vikings. I think we got the weaponry to do it. The Chicago Bears should be a 9-0 team right now. Uh, I think they're learning how to win games, and this is going to be an ultimate test against a really good opponent. And this is for the uh, all the chips right now. This is a game that is that will make the end of your season a whole lot easier. You know, the Vikings have a tough road ahead of them. Uh, we got the Detroit Lions again. I think the Giants come up after that. Uh, they've won a game as well. That just goes to speak to some of the parity that's going on in the NFL. Let's hope the Chicago Bears are on their A game. Again, I got the Bears winning 35-24. to 24. Everybody's going to have to show out this game. Mack is going to have to cause a lot of havoc. Uh, Floyd is going to have to cause a lot of havoc. We're going to see a lot of batted balls. It's going to be a lot of turnovers this game for the Chicago Bears. Uh, a lot of pick sixes because I believe that the Minnesota Vikings are going to be coming from behind uh, trying to catch up with our offense. So with that in mind, you know what time it is, man. It's fourth quarter boys sports. I'm your illustrious host, Professor Lake. You know, like, comment, share, subscribe, 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 subscribe. Chick, be a fourth quarter boy for life. For life, man. Hit that notification bell. Let me know what you think is going to happen when the Bears take on the Minnesota Vikings at Soldier Field. I'll let your boy. I'm out. And this is oh, what a nail! As Jonathan Bostic gets separated, Mike Willie from the football.